All right, in this video, we're going to be looking at wrap. I kind of said that a little loud, didn't I? I got excited. I was probably thinking of food like a wrap or something, but we're going to talk about wrap. We're going to go through the docs, see the examples they give, any little tidbits that the creators want us to know. And then we're going to go and do some examples. I think we have about three if I know how to count. If it's less than that, sorry for letting you down. But let's get to looking at the docs. So we can see at the top it says wrap is a layout component that adds a defined space between its children. All right. It wraps its children automatically if there isn't enough space to fit any more in the same row. That's pretty cool. And it says uh, further on, think of it as a smarter flex wrap with spacing support. It works really well. With things like dialog buttons, tags and chips. Now, some of these we haven't covered yet, but it's nice to know that it's previewing later for in the series, things we could use wrap with. Now, whether or not I demonstrate an example of that is another question, but I think it's cool that they're telling you what things may play nicer together in their library more than others. So let's scroll down here and we see we have a wrap. We have a wrap item. The wrap item composes the box component and renders a UL tag. And the uh, wrap item composes the box component and renders an HTML LI tag. All right, I'm pretty sure that everyone here has already used this unordered list and list item tag before. So essentially, we're just um, powering those up. So we're rendering those, but also with our box components, you know, we could do some special chakra tricks as well. So for the usage example, we see we have a wrap. We have each of the items inside the wrap, but in there we have a center. And I believe it centers for all of them, if my eyes are looking at this correctly here. And inside of them is, you know, this text, not the text component, but just raw text saying box one, box two, box three, box four. And as you can see here, there's not enough space for box four, but wrap is like, you know what, little buddy, we're going to get you on the next line. And you see that everything here is spaced nicely between one and four when it kicks it down to the next row, and in between one, two, and three. We had just have that nice even spacing right here. And it's not too much more components you have to do. It's not really technical, right? We've already looked at center, and all you need is a wrap, and you need for your wrap items, just this component here, and then you could slap whatever the heck you want to on the inside, and it'll kind of move it around, space it evenly out there for you, which is pretty cool. Now, if you do want to change the spacing here, um, it says pass the spacing prop to apply consistent spacing between each child, even if it wraps. And this is nearly the same example we've seen before at the top, but now we have the spacing at 30 pixels. We could see that it's not just here, but also when they're uh, stacked on top of each other, it maintains a very, very nice even spacing that is very easy on the eyes. And then, of course, we could do things like changing the alignment. You could do, you know, all sorts of this stuff here. I feel like when they do stuff by changing the alignment, it's helpful for stuff like this because maybe not all your boxes are going to be the wrong size, but you do want to center them. You want the text to line up for whatever your case may be, right? But, you know, sometimes when they do show a line, I'm like, okay, is this example totally necessary for this component? But in this case, I do find it helpful that they say, hey, if you need to go above and beyond the basic spacing, just slap a, a line sensor in here and you're misshapen boxes. Because keep in mind, maybe you just don't have center. Maybe you have circle, square, some other custom shape. So maybe you're making a game with Chakra. I don't know. So this is a nice little tip they give you to line all these up. And then, of course, we can use Justify. Uh, it says we pass the justify prop to change the alignment of the child along the main axes here. And similar to the top here, you know, everything is, is spaced out nice below, but now everything is centered and, you know, looks pretty snazzy. Nothing really big here. They're just adding it in at the very top. And so once again, at the bottom are the props. Now keep in mind for my examples, and I can't say this enough because I've made a billion of these videos, but also in their examples as well, they're not always going to have every single example of all these props, you know, potentially being used. 
So there may be additional use cases, tools for you, not really use cases, but tools for your use cases. So come back to the docs, look at the bottom, because there may be some things that they just haven't shown yet because they're trying to show you the big idea of how to use some of these things. And then if you have to dig a little more, you kind of have to go to this specific page here at the bottom. But that's enough of me uh, chatting. Let's actually get to coding. So in this first example, let's just use a wrap and just do a basic example, kind of take what they're showing in the docs and then we're gonna modify it just ever so slightly. We now see here that we have these boxes. So let's go ahead and expand this out. We can see that we have box one, one, and one. So let's fix this mistake here and actually name these out. So now we have these right here. We're not doing anything special. There's kind of a line to the left. We have our red, green, tomato and then our blue box here. So another thing we could do with these boxes is actually provide some spacing, a gap, if you will, between them. So let's go ahead and provide that. We can see here that it gets a tad bit wider. Let me close Visual Studio Code a little bit here. We could see with 10, we could space it out pretty far. Now, if we go to something like 15, it kind of does this, like I think an overflow thing, something that goes on and it just comes back and compresses everything together. And from what I found, 10 is the highest value that you could use here. Another thing that we could do is say you want to center this because maybe this is cool. Maybe you have some content coming uh, on the screen over here. But what if you don't? What if all you want is this wrap and then these items to kind of just take up everything nicely here? Well, we could come in and do something like this. So now we have some nice gaps in between these boxes here, but you also notice that because of the justify center, we have some nice spacing on the outside. And as we expand, well, Everything still remains censored in here. We retain those gaps and it looks just a lot nicer than it leaning left on the screen. Now, granted, like I said, you may have other content on the left or right, but this is the first example we have with boxes or not things, boxes that are uh, wrapped, I should say, because everything's a box in Shocker UI. And uh, let's go on to the second example. All right, in this example, what we're going to do is we're going to look at how to align some of these items. We're going to add some color in there and we're going to take some of the boxes and we're going to change the dimensions of them and you'll see how it all looks in the end. So let's get first to adding that extra fifth, I call it a box, but it's not, it's not an actual box component. It's a center component, which is a box. But anyways, let's get going. Now that we have this right here, we have these boxes and we have some that are floating up above here. We have the thicker ones that have more of a height to them, you know, just different dimensionality overall. So let me bring this down here. It's still running. So we can see this example and let me bring this out. So we have this all in here right now. But say you do have, maybe these are pictures, maybe they're buttons, maybe they're whatever it is you want it to be. How do we go about kind of making these things all nice and centered, but then also 
kind of making sure that these kind of align in the middle so our eyes aren't like doing this roller coaster ride through here. And we could do something like this. And we could just come in here, and it doesn't matter where in here, and we could do an align center. And we see now that we bring all the boxes together, and now they're aligned right on through here. So if you're making some kind of collage photography site, whatever it may be, not all photos are going to be the same dimension. And sometimes that's a problem. And this is one way you could do that by using wrap, wrap item, and then using some uh, justify and align styles. And you get to this point. And uh, now let's move on to the third example. Alrighty, in this last example, what we're going to do is just take the wrap. I'm going to put a picture of my dog in here, which should be expected at this point on my channel. And we're just going to make a very lo-fi kind of layout dedication to my dog. So let's get to doing that. And if you didn't hear him just now, that was him zooming, is that a verb, into my room. we see right here we have this wrap item and then we have another wrap item and then inside of that is another wrap here and so what we're doing is we're taking this wrap and so we're getting all of this right here and so we can see this is the gray 200 background we got some padding up here you know everything is aligned in the center kind of what i did in the previous two videos then i have this wrap item which is my dog bernie right here and you know, I have this image. I've not done this. If you're going linear in the series, I haven't done image yet. But I have this image of Bernie I'm bringing in, and I'm scaling it down so it doesn't look all distorted. Trust me, you'll learn more about that later. And then on the right here, I have another wrap item, and it's just some text. And what's interesting here is even in this wrap item, I have a wrap. You don't necessarily have to have a wrap item in there. As you can see, I have two centers that are nearly identical. They have a green background and they have some text inside of them. And I have this lo-fi layout, dedication to my dog being crazy. You may or may not hear him in the background because it's a little late in the evening and he goes a little crazy. But you could start making more and more complex stuff by just playing around with Chakra. And this is a nice example of how to use Wrap. It's one of the many layout components and tools you could use. And uh, yeah, if you like this, uh, like, share, subscribe. If you like uh, watching this, and I'll see you in the next video.